everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share to your friends and also people who love this team and people who love football in general. You done now. And today guys, whoo, it's Manchester United 6, Leeds United 2, Manchester United have won the Rose Derby. Fantastic performance from both teams, but wonderful win by Manchester United. Poof, we've done it. We smacked them. We smacked them, guys. I am happy. I know you guys are happy. We are all happy winning this long-term rivalry that we haven't had in a long time. It's been about 16 years, but today we got that victory against Leeds. Leeds United are pissed. I know their fans are pissed. They're probably pissed. What? 6-2? Our first game in 16 years and we go out like that? Yes, you go out like that. You don't know the Red Devils have sprung all over you Leeds United fans. We've spunk all over you guys. Yes, we've done it. We, we raped you. We raped you today, you know. You was too loose. These were left open, wide open, legs open. And Manchester United took advantage of those legs open and said, yep, we're going to S you tonight, bro. We're going to S you tonight. And yes, they did that. And guess what, guys? We won the game without not having Paul Pogba. We had McSauce and Fred. Pastor Fred delivering sermons today. And I know you guys thought exactly what I thought of, especially when you saw McSauce and Pastor Fred starting in the starting lineup. Definitely everyone was just like me, like, raw, Fred, McTominay. No, 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 no. Oli, you're moving mad today. You are definitely moving out. No, 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 guys, I can't take this no more. But raw, to surprise, McSauce and Pastor Fred did their thing. I ain't gonna lie. He had us thinking, nah, you know what? Yeah, man's gonna take that back. Man's definitely gonna take that back, um, Oli. Sorry, sir. Sorry. But definitely had us fools today, guys. McSauce, Pastor Fred, absolutely wonderful together partnership on point so creme de la creme today you know what yeah Oli I'm sorry I'm sorry for thinking raw no out straight away out Oli out definitely but yeah back to reality guys wonderful win it makes sauce bro what was you on today was you on Nando's make sauce was you on that peri peri sauce today but if you know, definitely was you on that spicy mayo because I felt like McSauce was all type of sauces today, bro. He was ketchup, he was burger sauce, he was everything like chili sauce today, bro. Because sometimes he thought he was hot, he was doing things that he knew he couldn't do. He was taking touches and turns out he definitely knew that he couldn't do. But what today was his day, and when it's your day, guys, it is your day, everything goes right. McSauce. Two goals and assists, especially in the first two minutes. Scoring two goals just like that, out of nowhere. I was gassed. I was there thinking, nah, McSauce is on some next thing, bro. Right now he's on some chili sauce. Because McSauce scored two spicy goals. Two spicy McMayo goals, bro. You get me? I don't know if he was ordering McDonald's today. Because Can I get some two McMayos, please? Two McMayos? Yep, yep, yep. Definitely was like that today against Lee's, bro. Definitely. And McMayo, again, just scoring two goals. Doing well, bringing the ball forward and slotting in and slotting in and breaking in. And then next thing you know, Bruno scores and making it 3 0. At that time, there you thought, yes, wow, the first 15 minutes match United of 3 0 up. This is great because you know, normally we'll be conceding at this time. Normally we'll share at home, but today we got it right. And then something happened. Something happened, guys. They match United scored from a set piece. A set piece. I was like, Oh, this is just wonderful today. Set piece. Vindelof as well. Vindelof of all people. Set piece. Scoring from a set piece. At that time, 4-0. I was thinking, Chase, God, you have answered my prayers this week. It looks like we're going to be cementing in third place today. And I'm there going to be thinking, raw, all this madness. What are we on? But let's not forget what we on, bro, when we was going crazy. Let's not forget that we're out of the UEFA Champions League. But let me not let that spoil. And then Leeds had to make it 4-1. It was half time. He was thinking... Ah, man, you had to ruin David De Gea's day. David De Gea was probably wanting to go on a clean sheet today. But no, 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 Liz. No, 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 no. You pagans didn't want to give it to him. Second half started. Oh, my God. Dear, oh, dear. DJ was doing some mixing today. Daniel James went, fick it, fick it, fick it. Made it 5-1 out of nowhere. It must be a good day today. Maxwell has an assist. Delivering sources to the man like Dan James so he can mix properly, you know. But Dan James made it 5-1. I was pleased for him, you know. It's been a long time. You know, today Oli got it right. Because I'm like all of you guys. What's Daniel James doing starting? I'm outraged. But no, sorry, sorry. He was right. He should have started. He should have started. And he did start. And Dan James got his goal. 
And then again, Bruno Fernandes is customary penalty. You know it's not a normal day, a normal Manchester United match if Bruno Fernandes doesn't score his customary penalty. Making it 6-1 and Wolf scoring his 13th goal of the season. Bruno, what can you say about this guy? Lovely. I just love him. And sometimes you got to love a player, man. Bruno, you have changed our life. Definitely. Definitely. You the man. And then Leeds again, making it 6-2. Ah, but the match finished, guys. 6-2, full time. Brilliant game. Brilliant attacking display of football from both teams. Leeds did well. They didn't care. Even when it was 4-0 up, they still play the same. And I like that. And you know what? Man like Belsa, I ain't seen an old man squat for that long. You women can't squat for that long. Belsa's on some next thing. He's probably athletic. He squats his legs, his quads are on some next form because I can't squat for 90 minutes. No way. Each time I, I actually clock. Belsa, that's your natural position, bro. That's his natural position all the time. Man can't stand straight. Str all the time, squatting. As soon as I see him stand straight, he probably goes back to natural position. I'm squatting again. But Belsa... Fantastic coach, fantastic old man. Ladies, learn from that. You can't squat on your old man for that long. You need to start squatting on your man for that long. An old man can't be showing you up like that. Don't have that, girls. And as you know it, guys, I'm pretty much pleased. You know, I thought today was a very good game. We did well. We was great. We did well going forward. And we did have Pogba today playing, you know. And it's nice to win 6-2, score six goals at home at Old Trafford without Pogba not playing. Doesn't mean we don't need him. I know some of you guys. But we think, no, 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 Pogba didn't play. We don't need him. We don't need him. Told you, Pogba out. But we do, dickheads. Don't ever think like that. My man on the match day definitely has to go to McSauce. McSauce, two goals and assist. Brilliant today. He was on cloud nine. Thought he can do everything today. He was feeling like Superman. He was doing tricks that he knew he couldn't do. But definitely pulled them off. And it was his day. He did well. So McSauce, all on my brother. But doesn't mean Oli, you should be playing in the next game. Don't give the match. Has to go to Leeds United and their goalkeeper. Leeds were poor, especially defensively. Always being open. Loose, loose, loose like a single woman on a Saturday night all drunk in a club in West End Soho. Manchester United fans, I ain't gonna lie. Be happy. We're sitting third right now. But does it mean, oh, no, 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 no. All of our problems have gone, gone away. No, nope, no. Nope. Remember that. We got knocked out down to the Europa League. We're no longer in the Champions League. We could be doing way better than what we was if we didn't finish. I mean, if we didn't start the season all sloppy. But apart from that, guys, pretty much please. Brilliant win in the Rose Derby. And I have to be delighted. You all have to be delighted. You can enjoy this week. Enjoy the Sunday. And, you know, go to bed. A happy Manchester United fan for next week. We've got Everton, guys. And, yep, we're going to beat those scummy scousers and show them exactly what we're made of. And I'm confident in that, guys. And guys, it's been lovely. And let me know who was your man in the match and your donkey in the match in the comments below, guys. Let me know exactly what you thought of McSauce today as well and what you thought of the match in general. Guys, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share it to your friends. Remember to follow the socials as well. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United, which is Red United TV. One, baby, guys. Guys, see you next time. Remember to catch up next week. You'll be seeing that and as well, especially a few new features as well, guys. Trust me, guys. You get me? Beautiful, guys. I am out. I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm happy. Peace out.